Meanwhile, a group, the Judge Uba Whistleblowers Network, has stormed the National Assembly to demand transparency from the House of Representatives panel set up to look into the 48 million barrels of oil that were illegally sold in China. The group led by Peter Umo, which described itself as a civil society organization with a mandate to fight corruption, carried banners and placards with inscriptions denouncing the setting up of the ADA committee by the lower chamber when the crime, according to them, is already being litigated against in the court of law. The House of Representatives had in December 2022 resolved to set up an ADA committee to investigate a whistleblower's claims that 48 million barrels of bunny light crude were illegally sold in China in 2015, as well as the issuance status of the cargo. We are suffering injustice among the mandate in the public interest and in the interest of the override any other interest in any democratic dispensation. The schedule honorable Mark Biller led adult committee hearing on illegal sale of stolen 48 million pounds of Nigeria crude oil in yes. China. Yes, no be lie, no be lie. In violation of two principles. Number one, the whistleblower which finished Honorable Mark Biller, the information, gram the 48 million barrel crude oil stolen, did not file any petition on the National Assembly, giving rise to the hearing. Neither were there any call at witness to testify during the hearing. Our chairman, George Oboa, known as the whistleblower, whose petition of the National Assembly led at the sack of the former EFCC chairman, Lemoret, can authoritatively state his file and lay it on the floor because Bila, by call the screenshot due to the process, Bila reported other <laughs> committee hearing is a scam and on literated action participated by the Greeks. 